New for 530, a culture of sexual harassment is under the microscope in Florida's capital right now. One Central Florida lawmaker has already resigned a post following allegations and another lawmaker is preparing for an investigation. Now, as investigative reporter Christopher Heath explains, the state is being forced to take steps that many say should have been taken years ago. Former Brevard State Representative Rich Workman is the latest high-profile politician to step down after allegations of sexual misconduct. Workman was accused by a fellow Republican of making vulgar and inappropriate gestures. Within hours, he stepped down from his post at the Public Service Commission. But Workman isn't alone. In October, Jeff Clemens, the top Democrat in the Senate, resigned after admitting to having an affair with a lobbyist. Weeks later, Jack Latvala, a Republican leader in the Senate and candidate for governor, was accused by six women of sexual harassment, allegations he has steadfastly denied. I think on the sexual harassment angle, that is coming to light because of the national trend. I mean, UCF political science professor Aubrey Jewett says the string of accusations and resignations underpins what has been a long ignored problem in the Capitol. So I do think, unfortunately, the sexual harassment has been going on for a long time as well. It's just most women weren't coming forward. This week, Governor Rick Scott put out a new directive strengthening sexual harassment protections for state employees. The order comes as the Senate prepares to investigate the allegations against Latvala, an investigation that could stretch into the legislative session, which starts in early January. I think it will be one of the dominant issues in this upcoming legislative session. As all of this is playing out, online news service Florida Politics is reporting the state has spent in excess of $11 million settling sexual harassment claims in the last three decades, spending almost half a million in the last seven years. Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Florida lawmakers will begin their 60-day session on January the 9th.